Hi guys, this is Emnal and we are back playing Hearts of Iron 4, Astral Slovakia. Now, I thought about it and I think we actually uh, need to get uh, some more still going since we will want to, well, we'll we are going to use uh, what, uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 more uh, very shortly, so we might as well uh, grab one more. Uh, a bit of that right there. Uh, reason being that, well, uh, oh, um, we are not, uh, well, we want uh, to have fully equipped divisions when the war starts. Now, we are not actually going to, uh, okay, let's, oh, they haven't Anschluss did so. All right, Anschluss is in incoming. Uh, I'm not going to, uh, change the visions quite yet because well i want to uh to research the, um, to train them up first and uh, if i train them with all the bells and whistles we are going to waste uh, other equipment than just uh, infantry equipment so yeah and we don't have a lot of artillery or anti-air or well anything else really going on for us so yeah we're going to wait All right, so Grand Battle Plan, uh, since uh, we are, what, a half a year, uh, which means, yeah, that prepared defense will be a bit late. For that reason, we are going to sw take that 30 days that we have saved up here and switch it for preferred defense uh, for to get it uh, slightly, slightly faster. And, yeah, like that. This is the overall. You in most games you find yourself rushing doctrines uh, at the before the war starts. So this is definitely a good strategy to use to to, to do that. So uh, one of the next uh, playthroughs we are going to play is going to be uh, by uh, the United Kingdom. I've actually played a test game uh, like earlier this week before I've gotten the Death or Dishonor and I was uh, for example able to get uh, all the way to those two techs on uh, Battlefield Support 3 before the war started so uh, you can you can rush those things pretty damn quickly at the same time I got like well pretty uh, pretty deep into the uh, actual land doctrine as well so and th that pays dividends when the fighting starts. Alright, I'll go back to researching my, either of those. Really? So, uh, the reason, right, the reason why I go for um, attack of uh, uh, defense and breakthrough is that we are going to defend in the mountains against uh, with the forts and so on so and so forth, which means that we'll have plenty of defense. We'll most likely have in every defensive battle that we have, we'll have more defense than uh, the sum of enemy attacks anyway, which uh, means that adding additional defense doesn't actually change anything. Uh, the, and the breakthrough won't uh, come in handy till we uh, have a chance to counterattack, which probably is not gonna be for, for quite a while. Probably not before the war with Poland starts. Okay, so Anschluss, uh, let's spread our things. Okay, this is reaching both ends. Very good. Hmm. All right, how's our division is going? Not really going. Oh, uh -huh. oh well. In uh, 70 days, we can start another one. So we'll basically go to war with 27 divisions. Uh, well, could have been worse. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 
17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so we have 21, uh, 21 divisions are needed for us to, to, to even have a chance of survival. And we'll have, what, six spur and we'll probably be able to deploy one or two before. Uh, Alright, so uh, Hungary uh, secures Romanian support from re uh, rearmament. Uh, they want to... So they start with something called... Uh, oh, actually, it's already... Mm, it's already been replaced by... But uh, uh, they have... Uh, they start with the negative modifier minus 50%... 15%... 50, I'm sorry, 50. 5-0% to the speed of military factory production. Uh, which is uh, by city uh, by Treaty of Trianon, which is, was similar to the Treaty of Versailles, which made it a you know big Hungary that was a part of Austria Hungary before the First World War into the Hungary that we see here and know today. Uh, and on top of uh, you know cutting it down to uh, to, to size, uh, well or undersized because well. There are quite large minority uh, Hungarian minorities around. It also limited their ability to uh, rearm, and now they uh, demand us and other neighbors to uh, well uh, stop enforcing the treaty. And well, we can either lodge diplomatic protest or just you know uh, be annoyed. And since we don't want uh, Hungary to attack us before, uh, well, well, while we are defending against uh, Germans, because that would be death, we'll just be nice to them. Alright. Okay, it's February, so... Uh, okay. Must we trust? So that's about uh, as far as we can go here, and now we can. We have to go back to the uh, fortifications. There we go, and uh, also we are going to. Um, yeah, it's time to, uh, for us to actually uh, change those things. Uh, we'll add recon and engineering company. We're going to put two artillery here, two artillery brigades here, and anti-air, as well as support artillery and uh, support anti-air. Uh, since we are using mountaineers, we'll have decent organization anyway, and well, we'll get another uh, plus 10 per piece later on. We do have 21 combat width, which is not ideal, but uh, even it uh, tells you here that uh, usual, well, standard combat width on one to one, in one to one uh, attack from one province to another is 80. Uh, so it's nice to have uh, increments of 20. But since we have so few divisions, we rarely, very rarely fight with four divisions in the same place. So it's not going to affect us, well, at all, really. Uh, we have enough piercing to pierce all the enemy uh, armor thanks to our anti-air and uh, our high un air attack should uh, well defend us mostly from uh, quite heavily from the uh, uh, from the close air support bombers and such uh, and also limit the effects enemy air superiority is going to have on our defense which well all nicely adds up. Uh, 55, so we are, as you can see, way ahead, but we are still exercising mostly because we want to have, uh, well, a high, uh, high experience troops uh, for the sake of them fighting better. We'll get some infantry equipment back, but we'll have to use quite a lot of other things. Uh, actually, I'm going to eat more manpower, doesn't it? Yeah, manpower that we don't have. Okay, let's cancel that, and of course, uh, everything else here is going to go once again. Yeah, 10,000 manpower is still required. And let's just merge those two. There we go. Oh, 
Right. All of you are part of this order. Redeploy and do not and start getting uh, you know planning bonus, whoever did not. And there we are. Right, uh, I'm going to put this on high priority first. Uh, not sure if that actually uh, involves manpower, but I want to actually uh, build those uh, those divisions if possible, since we will get uh, additional manpower whenever we pick this and this. <sighs> mm, okay, let me so one, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, yeah, that's 14. Which means that we will finish this or this 14 days after the, you know, Minish Dictum is presented to us. I'm actually not sure if we can hold on to that and uh, not press it outright. I actually haven't checked. And it's an interesting question. So, uh, no, oh, right, free military factories. Now, what do we want? Mm, how does it look? Uh, anti air. Well, once again, uh, so this is basically good. Uh, we are uh, weakest on artillery. Uh, so let's add two to artillery and later one to. Uh, to air. Mm, yeah, that will do. And, well, at some point we'll probably end up losing quite a lot of infantry equipment, so might as well uh, start investing in that a little bit. As price as well, we switched uh, to mountain troops. Well, we actually haven't... Oh, we haven't switched everything to mountain troops yet. Okay. Could have sworn we have. Okay, like everything is supposed to be this. Ouch. Alright, so we are not in such a good shape as I thought. Oh. Well, should be okay ish by the time we. Uh, in half a year. Well, not half a year, in like four months, but yeah. Uh, so that's, yeah. This way, one, 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 and so on and so forth. Uh, how's our construction going? Uh, working on it. A uh, few more slots left. So, Lettonland and Moravia. So, Lettonland first. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm, Alright. Congress, trials in provincial elections, uh, army innovation. Okay, so one more will be, uh, yeah, one more will be uh, demands to that amount, I believe. And right, um, what do we want? Uh, well, we won't be able to switch the production to to better to better cannons, sadly. Uh, Anti-tanks, we already discussed. Well, they will be useful like in 1940, uh, but uh, not exactly the, the most important thing right now. Excavations would be useful, but not quite yet. Uh, probably go ahead of time on this, but that's, that's too early. So we still have that to pick, and that's what we are going to go with. And yeah, that's more or less set us for the uh, for the war as it stands all right so we've gotten like another 50 out of it uh yeah we won't need more i believe let's see mm, in the field yeah let's wait a few days and see if uh, how that got distributed okay so it was taken 
up by this mostly and this is going to end in uh, September so well ar around the time the war already starts but well, that's okay all right so we're just going to go for this which will give us another uh, 50 or so uh, 50 or so K to fill up our uh, ranks and then we'll just go for defensive preparations We are yet to be guaranteed by France and United Kingdom go, but that's, that will probably happen uh, when they actually start, uh, uh, you know, going for Sudetenland. So I was probably, uh, now when I think about it, I was probably too, too scared and sh shouldn't have went for the... Um, I shouldn't have went for... Uh, Trust in the West so early. I could have gone for it now and already had the uh, and the manpower uh, ready. But then again, we are still lacking uh, in some regards, as you can see here. Uh, yeah, it's mostly artillery, but I believe at least some of that is because we are building a few more divisions. Yeah, we are. We have 500 in here, so that's that's okay. Huh, actually, not sure what I want to build now. Um, this is still half a year ahead, uh, which is a pain. Hmm. May consider I'm just going for anti tank, but uh, probably not. Um, maybe, maybe an air doctrine. What is the first one? Fighter detection, not exactly what we want. Air superiority, mi air support mission efficiency would uh, make it so that if our um, close air support bombers get caught by enemy fighters, they have. You know, a higher chance of winning the the engagement. Uh, ground support actually increases the um, buff to damage our units would get from uh, being ground supported, which is a, a very beneficial thing to have. But uh, well, we can't exactly. It will take a long, long time. Now, when I think about it, I well, considering that we are what. Uh, well, we have one spur, one spur research, and this is not actually all that beneficial. So I imagine we would have to do it optimally. You would be a, you should be able to actually squeeze all two or three of those in. Uh, so yeah, that that would that would actually be possible and a better option. So, yeah, so, so something to consider. Uh, I may actually want to go for that eventually, or at least for radio, for reinforcement rate. It's good to, to have that at least. Uh, hmm. Well, I guess let's let's go for radio. We want to, to get all the... Uh, not this one, this one. Uh, we want to get all the advantages that are actually combat advantages, and ra radio definitely is one. Alright, well, we don't have that much of properly trained troops to speak about, but oh well. And yeah, they, they should start uh, demanding Sudetenland um, shortly. Yes. All right, and France and the United Kingdom both granted our independence outright, so uh, definitely that was a brain fart. I shouldn't have gone with trust with the West so early on. Um, you should probably do it before, uh, you know, with the previous one, not the not the one I'm doing right here. But yeah, I could have had uh, more manpower to play with for for a, for a while now. All right. Mm. What to go for next, though? That's that's the question. As you can see, not well. Not all of our units are 
doing so hot. Uh, yeah, we're missing some uh, some manpower, but yeah, that should be fixed momentarily. Mm, all right, let's see how much manpower will we eat. Hmm. All right, so now options for focus are either defensive preparations or go for arms export. Uh, which would change that, but what, by what point? By two percent? Yes. Would I don't want it? May maybe that would maybe give us one civilian factory. Uh, all right, we definitely want to buy buy more steel. Uh, tungsten, yeah, we'll have to leave away with it. Uh, yeah, it's not so great on anti uh Something like that, I would say. Now, uh, but I think we'd rather keep producing units. Let's see. Now let's. I think we are uh, weaker on the production side, so let's uh, just make sure that we won't run out of guns. Like two thousand is really not much. Here, let's finish production with those, and then uh, wait for uh, our stockpiles to build a little bit. And yeah, and then like, yeah, it it will be touch and go, but we should be okay. Um, before we run out of uh, manpower, we should be able to. Uh, actually, we haven't deployed our. Yeah, let's uh, clean our uh, or undeploy or. Cancel of that and deploy them again. Mm. Okay, so we have uh, almost a hundred, uh, almost two hundred closer supports. I mean, I like to just put them in the wings of hundreds, even if we don't quite have that yet. So press N for for a new one, and we have some fighters and some standard bombers. Uh, maybe we'll get some. Uh, later, uh, via land lease, unlikely, but well, who knows? Mm. There we go. So the way you do it now is you simply select. Uh, if I wanted to to move them. Uh, well, they haven't deployed yet, but I just select them here. I can uh, move them to another uh, to another airfield. Uh, but this is this is an optimal one here because mo almost all of our air zone is is in the range. Not not quite because like the fringes of uh, of Slovakia aren't, but well, everything where the fighting is gonna is gonna be. So that's. That's very important. Now uh, we are going to go with interception rather than a, a superiority, I think, and a close air support. And we will try to. Uh, so our fighters will try to focus enemy bombers, while our uh, <clears throat> While our uh, bombers will try to bomb units that uh, try to attack us in this region, and right, and we are going to deploy to Czechoslovakian uh, region, of course. Uh, that's about it. Well, you can just uh, select them one by one, and so on and so forth. I mean, that's a decent, uh, decent new addition, and uh, especially the fact that you you get to see the range of your things. So the the big one is uh, the. And the tactical bombers. Uh, those are closer support and those are our basic fighters. Alright. So, war is about to start in what? Uh, yeah, shortly. 
Uh, let's see. Everything is. Uh, hey, hey. Well, that's less than ideal. Those guys. Uh, what are we missing here? Well, not much. So, well, most of that will uh, will reach them before the um, the fighting starts. But sadly, uh, yeah. So that that was a, a mistake. I cannot uh, go. Uh, I cannot tell them to to actually. Uh, to actually train now because that would reset the uh, the organization and we don't want that we are what uh like two weeks away from war uh, i will leave them this way uh, with uh, you know spread out throughout the whole whole thing with some uh some bits being uh meant by two and well Rather than uh, to to put them, for example, in the middle as as a reserve, but uh, that's only because well, uh, you don't get the planning bonus if you are sitting in the middle, which is a bit silly. But yeah, that's that's what it is. So uh, you wouldn't get this additional ninety percent uh, damage dealt. So yeah, we need to uh, to keep it this way. And uh, as you can see, prepared defense is about to finish just before the war starts. That's good. All oh, right, and civilian factories. We are actually going to build like a few. I, I forgot about it. I I probably should have built a few of those anti air uh, air. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's put it like that, and then last uh, a few factories to it. Uh, yeah, it's more or less works. Sadly, well, we don't have many more factories coming online, but well, here we are. Mm, perhaps it would be time to cancel those, but eh, I, I want to see how the the. I, I really think that actually the closer support would uh, will be working quite nicely even without the the proper uh, fighter coverage because uh, well air detection is going to be uh, pretty shitty uh, early on, especially in uh, the for them, especially in territory that we actually. Fully control, so they don't get the bit from uh, from control territory. All right. Bad defense. All right. Both international, and they're about to pop the question. Okay, so it, Hungary now is Trianon. Pretty. Uh, they are still uh, guaranteeing us. So, despite uh, the Munich diktat, German, uh, German demands for our territory in the Sudetenland uh, region have become increasingly hostile, and now their forces are massing along our border. A conference is being held in Munich where European, European leaders uh, are discussing the future of Czechoslovakia, but we haven't been invited. Well, good sign. Both the British and the French have uh, rescinded their earlier promises to support us against the German aggression. The uh, diplomats have made it clear that if we uh, choose to resist the Germans, we do so on our own. Perhaps we have no choice but to surrender the Sudetenland. So this clearly hasn't been updated because, well, uh, we wouldn't get uh, in my like test game where I just run and you know fast forward, not building anything and so on, just uh, go through the uh, go through the, through the uh, focus is to know how they work because, well, that's not always ob obvious. Uh, those guarantees that we actually have here do work uh, for us. So, uh, well, uh, as you can see here, we can uh, either give up, which we are not going to, or we can uh, cancel that. Uh, we let's see. Uh, well, I'm not going to 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 actually uh, not going to actually wait uh, because there, there's something. I'm not sure what we, I I don't remember what is the timer uh, for for those events and if uh, if this one would uh, because well when it runs out it picks the the top uh, top bit so we're just going 
to say we are we, we don't surrender and hope that uh, that will be enough. As far as defenses go, and let's slow it down, uh, mostly to see how our air force is going to do. But we are going to take a look at that, and if actually our allies are going to support us, uh, as they say they would, with the guarantees in the next episode, because we are uh, so nicely out of time. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you are enjoying this. Uh, the next one should be uh, out very shortly, and well, if you want to. And uh, get you know information, yada yada yada, then subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I see you next time.